Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be doing another microphone comparison. I'm going to be looking at two microphones that are pretty much exactly the same, coming with exactly the same accessories at two totally different prices. And the microphones that I'm talking about is the very popular Rode NT1A and the newly added Behringer TM1. <gasps> So when it comes to the Rode NT1A, this is pretty much the go-to microphone for any home studio setup. Whether you're on a very tight budget or you have a good amount of money, you can't go wrong with this microphone. It comes with so many cool accessories like a shock mount, a cable, stand, bag, all of these cool things. And it's perfect for those of you starting out in a home studio type environment, ready to record some quality vocals. But a new microphone has been added to the market that's pretty much exactly Exactly the same in terms of design and look and when you purchase this microphone it even comes with exactly the same accessories as the Rode NT1A. The big difference between these microphones though is the price. The Rode NT1A will cost you around $230 where the Behringer TM1 will cost you around $110 and that big difference in terms of price really shows you that Behringer has tried to create a product with the exact same mold and idea idea of the Rode NT1A and because of the success of the Rode NT1A it's decided to go with the exact same idea, drop the price and hopefully be as successful if not more than the Rode NT1A. The big question though is will this new TM1 microphone actually be able to compete against the Rode NT1A and will the lower price make people buy this one instead of the Rode NT1A. In terms of overall look and design like I said both of these microphones are very very similar. Both of them have a beautiful grey finish, they both have the same kind of structural idea with no polar pattern or attenuation switches on them, really a nice and clear finish that's awesome looking in a studio setup. And when you purchase both of these microphones in the box you get exactly the same thing. They both come with a shock mount, they both come with their own pop filter, they both come with a very nice cable that's thick and good quality and they also come with a bag to store your microphone. Pretty much exactly the same things. But even though things might look exactly the same, there are still a few small differences. When you look at the microphones themselves, the Behringer TM1 is made in China, where the Rode NT1A is made in Australia. And not to decredit Chinese products because most things are made in China, it is still a thing where you're gonna get a cheaper product from China compared to places like Australia or Germany, Austria, Japan, these kinds of places. So that is something to keep in mind. And it's probably one thing that helped Behringer keep their costs so low. When you look at the accessory sides of things, you can see that the pop filter of the Rode NT1A T1A is definitely thicker than the Behringer TM1 which means it's going to help a lot more with plosives and just stopping those P's and B's from entering your microphone especially when you close up onto the microphone. When you look at the shock mounts of these microphones you can also see that the Rode NT1A shock mount is fully metal, a good solid design where the Behringer shock mount does have a plastic connection to the stand which doesn't hold so well especially with the weight of the microphone sometimes it does struggle to stay in place and it did irritate me a little bit when I tried to put it together and I think after a while it could also break because it is plastic but at the end of the day you are only paying half of the price so it's not that big of a deal. Now, when it comes to comparing the audio quality of these two microphones, I have decided to set it up in a way that as I talk, I can jump between each microphone and you can pick up on the audio differences yourself. And I'm actually using the Behringer pop filter as well, so we can test how good that works as well. But like I said, in terms of the Rode NT1A, it's a microphone that I always prefer to go for. I've had mine for over nine years. It's the first condenser microphone that I purchased when I started out with my home studio setup. 
and it's done such a good job for vocal recording acoustic guitar recording and it's just a really really good microphone whereas when it comes to this Behringer microphone and Behringer products in general for me they do a really good job targeting people on a tight budget they make a good quality type product but it isn't the best quality and their main focus isn't quality it's trying to meet all the needs of the consumer at the lowest price possible but still trying to just have decent quality and not be a crap product just so that they can actually last as a company so for me the Rode NT1A is obviously going to be better quality overall in terms of design build material and vocal quality but the Behringer for the price is also going to do a good job especially the fact that you're paying half of the Rode NT1A so now that I've had my little conversation with these two microphones trying to have a look at the audio quality in a talking type test it is time to move on to again my favorite part and that is the singing test comparison she said hello mister Place to meet you. I wanna hold her, I wanna kiss her. She smiled at daisies, she smiled at daisies. She drives me crazy, she drives me crazy. I'm gonna take you for a ride on a big jet plane I'm gonna take you for a ride on a big jet plane Yeah Now, for my final overview of these two microphones, I have to say that for the price, I think they do a very good job. When we look at the Behringer TM1, this mic is obviously copying the Rode NT1A and it's trying to do exactly the same thing at a much cheaper price. And do I think it does that? In a way, I feel that if you are someone that's looking to get a Rode NT1A but it's too expensive and you love the shock mount and the cable and the pop filter and the design of it, I do think that this is a great cheaper option to go for. It definitely doesn't sound as good as the Rode NT1A and like I said, some of the things aren't as good in terms of quality but because the price is dropped by $110 you can only expect it to be cheaper in certain places but in terms of sound quality I do think it does a great job and I do think for the price it is really a competitive microphone to go for. So that brings this video to an end of my comparison between the Behringer TM1 and the Rode NT1A and just a reminder that if you're interested in any of these products I will leave some links down in the description below. If you have any questions about today's video just leave a comment down below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can but other than that thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please do give it a thumbs up and if you loved it subscribe down below and I will see you for another video next time